Hello everyone, how are you today? This is Mark. I'm doing just great. Thanks for asking. I have three questions. Can I ask a question? Could we just concentrate on this lesson? And may I open the window? It's really hot in here. In this lesson, we're going to delve into making requests. So stay tuned. So I need to start this lesson by describing a modal verb. Well, a modal verb is like an auxiliary verb. If you don't know what an auxiliary verb is, there is a lesson on my playlist. You can click here to watch that lesson. But a modal verb is, an is like an auxiliary verb that helps other verbs with their meanings. Um, we have can, could, may, might, and so on. You won't find a modal verb without a main verb. We always need um, a verb, another verb, to, uh, with a modal verb. To make a positive sentence, we need the subject plus the modal verb plus the base of the verb without to plus the object. So, for example, I can read a book. So, for a negative sentence, we make the same sentence, the same example sentence, but in the negative, we need the subject plus the modal verb plus not plus the base of the verb plus the object. I can't read a book in Russian, for example. I can't read a book in Russian. Um, for an interrogative sentence, we need the WH question word, if there is, who, where, how, etc., plus the modal verb, plus the subject, plus the base of the verb, and then whatever is next. Can I help you? Can I help you? So, for informal requests or to ask for permission, we use can I or can we. Just like my uh, example, can I ask a question? Can I ask a question? This is a permission, I'm asking for permission. Can we go out tonight? This is informal, obviously. We're talking about informal language. So you can say this to a friend, no? Can we go out tonight? You're asking for permission. If you're asking something on behalf of somebody else, you can use he, she, they, of course. So, can she come over? Can she come over? Or, can they borrow your books? Can they borrow your books? Now, there is one thing that I want to tell you about can. Um, can is pronounced in American English, can. In British English, it's pronounced can. For the negative, can, it can be confusing. So, for American English, we prefer to say cannot, because can't is, the T would be missing sometimes, you know, when you speak very fast. Instead, in British English, is can't, so is easily recognizable. Now, let's um, take a look at the second point that I wrote here. And uh, if we use to sound more polite, obviously the modal verb changes here and it is could. Could we concentrate on this lesson, please? I would always add please. Maybe please sometimes is not needed, but mostly we use please. So, to sound more formal. Could we concentrate on this lesson, please? I will say this to, to my students, for example. Or at a meeting, at a business meeting, um, some people need to, to go out of a meeting and they say, could we interrupt for a second? Could we interrupt for, ex for a second? Now, the third point, if you want to sound more persuasive, you can use can't, or cannot in American English, can't in British English, and or couldn't. So, 
can't we listen to some music or can't we listen to some music or with couldn't couldn't we stay here for a bit couldn't we stay here for a bit for example at a library you want to stay longer and people need to close it for the day and you ask couldn't we stay here for a bit so the fourth point uh, is when to use may and might may and might are very very formal i gave you the example may i open the window may i open the window this is the correct form but now uh, since language has changed, we can say, can I open the window? With might instead, might is very, very formal, very, very formal. And you rarely find it in questions. But I gave you a question anyway, and an example question, and it would be, might I speak to the manager, please? Might I speak to the manager, please? Now, I'm going to erase this and I'm going to look at two other points on making requests. Yes, we're back with the other two points. And uh, the uh, fifth point that I want to uh, talk about is that uh, another way to make the request more polite is to add perhaps or possibly after the subject, just like my examples. Could we possibly watch TV now? Could we possibly watch TV now? And so possibly makes the, uh, the question or the request more polite. So the other example, may I perhaps speak to you a minute, please? May I perhaps, I hear perhaps makes the request more polite, speak to you a minute please so for the last point is that to make a request indirectly so without making a direct question we can use would like or should like in affirmative sentences just like my two examples I would like to ask you a question I would like to ask you a question if you wish to watch a lesson on wood, you may click here. Or we can say, we should like the roast beef for our main dish. We are at a restaurant and so we ask for the roast beef, right? And so we can say, we should like the roast beef for our main dish. This is very formal, okay, too. So. It depends uh, when and how you want to use it. So if you like to, uh, to watch a lesson on should, you may click here. So if you have any questions or requests, you may type them under this video. If you wish uh, to share the lesson, you may do so. Um, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do so. Next week you'll get a new lesson. And uh, having said that, have a great day and see you next week with a new lesson. Bye-bye.